Hey, what's up, YouTube? This EXO coming at you here all fancy on this extra windy day. And I just had to bust out this microphone that I've had for like two years. And we are coming at you with an early morning project for the new build. And you already know what it is. It's the head unit. We've been using our cell phones and the pulverized spare head unit from Frankenstein. But today is the Gear Best Special over there from Run Grace Touchscreen Android Double Day. And we're going to be slamming it in here uh, for the new build, but we're going to make sure she's all nice and covered while we're in progress so without any further ado let's go ahead and hop upstairs and check out this little run grace i'm really looking forward to it all right so here we are wasting zero time with our gear best special over there from run grace this is obviously going to be the new head unit for our build so let's go ahead and check out all the features because it is bound to have just loads of them given the fact it's an android touch screen so let's go ahead and peel her outside and see what we're working with for features holy buttons this thing can probably do everything under the sun check that out i really like having the option of controlling everything you know on the fly whether you're you're pointing it through a window doing spl runs or just cruising down the road that's pretty sweet to have all those settings right there obviously stuff that's a given comes with a harness and actually comes with a ipod cable that's not something you see every day they usually make you pay extra for that but as well as including the gps antenna yes i forgot this is gps it's got Freaking DVD, USB, uh, uh, navigation, obviously AM, FM, Bluetooth, and this will just play into keeping us safe when we're going on road trips. I probably won't use it. I'll probably just keep using my Samsung with Google Maps, but this thing will have Google Maps too since you can go right to the freaking Play Store on it, so I don't know what I'll do. Here's the actual unit itself. Let's check her out. Uh, now, if there's one thing I'm really excited about is seeing how much voltage this thing puts out on its pre-outs right here, which, holy shit, are surprisingly all protected with some plastic pieces. That's nice. We got video in and out in case we're doing some rear backup cameras or maybe some external TFT screens. Obviously, sub, front, and rear. And, oh, look at that. Dang it. It's only got one RCA for the sub output. That's okay because, you know, we don't need a left or a right. Uh, you know with subwoofer it's all mono anyways, but it is nice to have that little extra cable You know for the, for our long lengths of RCA So I'll probably plumb this into a little splitter. She's fused up with a good old 15 amper right there You can see where everything plugs in everything's real nice and flush on the back So here's some more inputs antenna and obviously oh fuck. That's pretty cool We usually include this as a little additional cable, but it is built in this USB female is built right in uh, we won't know too much about its functionality until we fire it up, but one thing I'm really wanted about this were the rotary knobs. It sucks trying to turn down your volume fast when you have push buttons. So this knob right here will allow you to turn it down really fast, and that's what I need for going in my runs and doing videos and stuff like that. Only eight buttons on the side. The less that can go wrong, the better. But again, I'll, I want to stress this, we really don't know what, you know, what to expect until we install it. But that is definitely going to be in this video, so stay tuned. So let's go ahead and run outside and get this bad boy installed because there's nothing much we can do except for look at it right now. I mean, shit, this isn't doing anything. So let's go ahead and make her do something. <laughs> All right, we got the head unit in here, almost ready to go. All we have to do is take off the little mounting kit that's attached to our other Pioneer and hopefully it'll fit right onto this, should be universal. And then quite literally, we're only gonna connect like three of these wires. No stock connections are gonna be used for the speakers and the doors or anything like that. So it'll be really, really simple. And then obviously this is just gonna plug up right on our dash, um, excuse me, uh, on our windshield somewhere uh, inconspicuous. So let's go ahead and transfer our little mounting kit uh, right onto this bad boy. Mm -mm. All right, we got it all removed. Let's go ahead and see if it snaps right on. So we're definitely running into some fitment issues. It's just not the right size uh, for this face plate. I went ahead and took off the side, uh, the side pieces so it would be just a little bit easier to see if it was the right piece. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of cutting. That's the only thing I can really think of to do because this is a universal kit. So it looks like this is what's happened. You see how this has just a little bit of a recessed edge right there around the whole side. Now this has the same thing, but it's much bigger, and that lip on top creates a little bit of a difference. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of finagling, if you know what I'm saying. So that's kind of a little bit of a pain in the butt. <laughs> Well, 
it kind of fits, but holy crap, even when I trimmed it, it still fucking was a tough fit around this big kind of bulbous front. I might even just get a, a, another kit to see how that does, even though this is supposed to be universal, holy crap. All right, we've got our harness all hooked up right in the dash. Nothing fancy, just getting her run in with the power ground and uh, the remote wire I'll run on my own switch. As you guys know, I like to have my own little switches for things. I'll probably redo this in the future, but this will do for right now. Get this bad boy, plug that in. There we go. Clip that right there, She's nice and tight. Right in there. We'll go ahead and take our Y splitter since even though this is yellow, this is our mono sub output and we're gonna change it into a little dual with our uh, Y splitter here, just so we can fit a regular set of RCAs through it. And then our front speakers are run off these RCAs, which were already in the car when I got them. We just gotta look for the F. Right there is the F, so I'll grab these two, and this is hard to do with one hand. Plug those in. All right, there's our subwoofer and our front outputs. All right, now we just gotta go ahead and chuck this dash right back on. Should just snap right the fuck back in. Ah, oh, there, get in there. There we go. Popped right in. Hell, it'll it'll do for now, YouTube. This it's gonna be breaking everything apart, anyways. So let's go ahead and see what she's like when we turn her on. Do we do Android? Ha ha. Sweet. It'll probably take a little while to queue up, and I wish I could get this damn glare out of here. Shit. Oh, no. And I'm sweating. Oh. Oh, yeah. 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 Why I say I'm in a chair? I'm sipping on the line. I'm in a chair. I'm in a chair. I'm in a chair. I put the horns on the set for us. I put the horns right there on the same. Do anything for a no saline. Do anything for a no saline. Yeah, yeah. It was a pleasure to meet you. I need to hear you when I greet you. Go on up, go on up. Case closed. Your boy float cold like a say below. Your girl never give a nigga space though. Besides that, man, eight days straight, yo. Banks bringing in the cake by the case load. If you ain't talking about the dog, I'm hanging up the phone. All these pretty hoes take a pick and roll. I don't ever stay the night, it's just a give and go. She's doing when I say it, up and down with it. When I hit it, she be way too loud with it. I play it cause I'm liking how it sound with a bunch of good dang. Yeah, I roll around town with it. Yo, stunner. Mella said, you know the niggas on the come up. We them niggas trying to take over the summer. Watch your girl fall in love. I'm an undercover brother, motherfucker. Can't do dip with a bunch of real niggas that be on the same shit since way back when. Packing bitches in the whip. Laughed up, but the bitches still down for the trip. Trying to be the missus, that's a hitter, that's a miss. Either way, I'm hip and I ain't even gon' trip. Entertain chicks till I'm bored with the shit. When I well, there she is, you tubulous. Nothing special really for this video, just a little initial install. Well, we're going to be doing a lot of testing with this particular head unit, so stay tuned for the full results on how she works for us. We're going to be putting her through the flex test, sound test, EQ test. You might even do an external EQ because of the limited uh, functions going on up front. But definitely going to do the trick for us today. It kind of just sucked about the whole, you know, the dash kit, but that's the way things go. You never know what's going to happen. I love trying out new things, and this is definitely something right up our alley. So stay tuned for the results, guys. This is EXO signing out with my little Run Grace Gear Best Special. Ha ha!